Hey, this is Catherine, owner of Phantom Designs and Skin Dealer on Instagram. Today I'll be showing you how to make this style design. The tutorial will be for more experienced editors rather than beginners. If you need a beginning tutorial, you can watch my other simple tutorials. Instead of using Chris Davis, I'll be using Derek Jeter just to show that you can do this with anyone. I've already opened the image and put a skin on it. Right here. So next, what I'm going to do is file, new, create a new document. I like to have it nice HD 1600 pixels by 1600 pixels. RGB color, background condense white. Click OK. And then I like to fit screen so you can see what you're working with. And we want the background to be a gray-ish color. So a little bit off-white. I've already picked that. This is pure white in the top left hand corner. And so what you want to do is you just want to drag it down a little bit, see what you like. Click OK. Then use the paint bucket tool to fill your background with this light gray. Next, we're going to go back to our image, take the move tool, just click on the picture, drag it over to your blank picture, and hold down the shift key to resize. You want it pretty big because we're going to be eliminating most of this. And the best part about these designs is no masking. Click the check mark when you're done. We're going to add a layer mask and use these dry media brushes, which are great for this style design. They give a nice canvas look. First, we're going to have to fill the layer mask with black. To do that, you can either go to the paint bucket tool and have your opacity set to black and just click, fill it like that. Or if you already have things on it, such as such as that, you can go to edit, fill, foreground color, mode normal, opacity 100. Click OK. So it will fill the whole thing black, not just what you select. I like to fill it with black because I like to paint in what you're going to see, not what you're not going to see. I'm going to size it down a little bit, then go over here and rotate it 90 degrees. So that gives it, it makes it vertical, a little bit more paint. And make sure your foreground color is at white so you can paint in. And just click and maybe change up the brush. You still want to put it. 90 degrees, so it's vertical rather than horizontal. Alright, still click where you like it, just give it a real natural look. Again, we're going to take the paintbrush tool and go to the rated brushes <clears throat> and use the paint splatters. You can size it down by clicking the squared brackets on your keyboard. The one on the left is smaller, the one on the right is bigger. I'm just going to click using black, take it out. So it just gives it a nice feel and we're just starting out here. Just get kind of what you don't want. Rough around the edges. I also like to use a little bit of half tones in there. Change it up a little bit. And I also have these great grunge halftone brushes. They're like paint splatters with halftones in them. And I'll put the, the link in the description so you can download them too. We're just going to use a couple of them right here and maybe size it down a little bit. And if you do something you don't like, maybe that's too many circles for me, I can just click Command X or Control X if you have Windows. I just like to do whatever looks right until we're finished. And I'm just going to skip ahead because I've already done this. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, and once we've got something we like, we're going to make a new layer above the one we've already created. And I'm just going to click Command, hold Command or Control on your keyboard and click the layer mask of the player. And I'm going to choose a color that represents the team, so in this case it would be the Yankees, that would be a navy blue, 
And if they don't have one on their jersey, you can just freehand it, you know, see what it looks like. You click OK. And then edit, fill, previous settings, click all right. And then deselect, so that would be Command D. Change the blend mode to soft light. As you can see, it looks kind of conflicting with the colors here. So I want to change it to image adjustment, black and white. Click OK, and then it's a nice colorized field there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create the text. So you're going to use the text tool, the font on Minch, and create a new text box here. Type your text. Resize it. Click OK. I did this in the color that I colorized um, Derek Jeter with. Next text box is his team as well as his position. So in this case, it would be New York Yankees shortstop. And I like that to be not black, but a grayish color so it stands out from the background but it's not too black and click OK and see how these are not aligned to do that you want to hold down command again or control and then click this layer then go to your move tool and click the center align horizontal centers so that will align it next you can move this up so it looks even and also we want to add the Yankees logo so we go file place Yankees logo and I, I prefer PNG since it's already masked resize that down to where we want it click OK and again create a new layer above that Command and select the icon here and use the paint bucket tool. Fill it in with the blue that you used earlier for this. Set the blend mode to soft light and change this to first you have to rasterize it. Rasterize layer, image adjustments, black and white. Click OK. Deselect, Command D. And there you have the text, logo, and player. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to start designing the background. This is really fun. You just use, get to use a bunch of different brushes, no set rules, just have fun with it. So you, you just start clicking everywhere. And you want to you want to have a darker gray than this. So what I would do is what I, I would click this, select the background color, and move it down a little bit to find something that you like. So I like this. and you also create a new layer above the background so it doesn't damage the, what you already have. You know, just play around with it. Get some splatters and again those grunge halftone brushes that I used earlier. Those are great for things like this. I'm just going to skip ahead because I think you understand what I'm saying. Now we're going to make the Yankees logo look kind of beaten so you want to make the blue that we did earlier on to go merge to the Yankees logo. So you go Command E or Control E if you're on Windows. Then you make a layer mask and just go over a little bit with maybe little paint splatters or I like to use these little grunge brushes here. And if I need to, I can tone down the opacity and flow a little bit so it's not so obvious. Just give it a little, you know. It, so it blends with the picture. If you do a little bit too much, you can always do Command Z to undo. Oh, there we go. We have a nice feel. And again, I want this centered with the Derek Jeter up here. So I'm going to click Command and select all three layers here. Again, go to my Move tool, align horizontal centers, and it aligns all of those perfectly. And I feel like it's a little clutter over here, so I'm going to move Derek Jeter and his color overlay over just a bit. 
so we have some room here. Looks like I did a little too much gray right there, so I'm going to fix that with just a little grunge brushes. Maybe add a little bit more back in. So it looks not too bad. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's your creativity. You need to do what you feel like. Looks good. That's the beauty of editing. Finally, we want to add your watermark. To do that, use the text tool. I use the font Zentageous. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just a nice, let's see, 60 point font with a coloring, not black, but not too light either. So I did a dark gray here. Click OK. Decrease the size and click the check mark and arrange it to where you like it. And there we have it. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed.